In this video, we're looking at how to correct gaze input when we're building for Gear VR or any native Unity VR target. And we're using a Google VR or some other gaze input module system. Now, I already have a video on YouTube that covers how to fix this in previous versions of the Google VR gaze input module script and I'm gonna put a link to this video in the description uh, hopefully that helps you out but in this video we're gonna look at how to do it in the Google VR 1.03 and 1.20 because in that in those versions the script has been changed a little bit so correcting the gaze input for for gear VR uh, you need to get the correct center of screen position by referencing the VR settings the eye texture width and VR settings the eye texture height when you have the unity VR support enabled and let's look at how how to fix that real quick because let's say I was gonna do VR build settings build for gear VR and then I hit play well I can't hit play because I can't move the the uh, head very easily but if I were to just rotate the player here on the y-axis you'll see that it doesn't I, I can't the cursor is not responding to the buttons I can't click on the buttons and the reason why is we need to correct the, the gaze input module in Google VR 1.03 the name of the script is gaze input module now in Google VR 1.20 the name of the script on that EGVR event system prefab is GVR pointer input module so it's GVR pointer input module that's the name of the script in GVR 1.20. Now you're going to see that these two scripts are basically the same. And we're going to comment out four lines. They're the exact same four lines in each script. This is Google VR 1.03. And the four lines that need to be commented out are line 26 right here. This one and 28. So I just commented out line 26 and 28, so it's always going to be using the VR system. Another thing I could do is just move that right up there and go ahead and delete those conditions. Now if I go down to the bottom of the script, I'm going to find the same exact if statement here with the, with the pound in front of it. This is platform dependent compilation, and in this case, we just want to comment that out and that means we also have to comment out the end if. Now just as before if you want to delete those two lines completely you can go ahead and do that and essentially what we've done is we've said we're always going to be using the unity engine.vr and it checks if the VR settings is enabled and if so it determines the center of the, the gaze pointer position or the center of screen based on the VR eye texture width and otherwise it just does a new vector to 0 0.2 multiplied by the viewport width. Now if I go look at the uh, Google VR 1.20 script again it's exactly the same I'm gonna comment out this line and this line and at the bottom of the script I'm gonna comment out this line and I'm gonna comment out this line now that that's been saved and I saved that script if I go back here to the gear VR uh, build and we're in level 2 if I rotate the players head over to that button you'll notice that it still doesn't work and the reason why is because it's it's calculating it's calculating the position the center of screen position based on the VR setting so it doesn't work now but when I build and run it to my device 
since I've set, uh, let me go back to the main menu now. I'm in 1.03, so I'm gonna go main menu 1.03, and I'm gonna say build for the gear VR, and I'm gonna say update selected prefab in all scenes, and update selected prefab in all scenes. Let's go ahead and build and run this now. Now, before I do my build for Gear VR, it's important to remember that you need to go to your plugins, Android, and create a folder, if it's not there already, called Assets, and include your device signature file that, that you comes from the Oculus website by going to the uh, signature file generator and putting your device serial number or the IMEI in here, downloading the file, and of course, then putting it into this assets folder. I'm going to do that now so that my build is going to run. All right, so it's build and run. I just snapped it in. Let's see what it says. Even though it didn't work in the editor, what I should find is that the, the level buttons work, and they do. I can go to level two, go to level one, and I can walk around by tapping on the touchpad back to main menu. So the multi. Uh, scene setup is working and the gear VR gaze input is working and in the next video we're just going to take a look at the platform dependent compilation where we can write code that works for gear VR or only works for Google VR.